Hey guys, I'm back with some more vlogs. Can you guess where I am? If you didn't know, that is the flag of Hungary. At the moment, I'm in Budapest, which is the capital of Hungary. So if you've seen my China vlogs, then you'll know that I normally just do a series each day of different things as I'm traveling around a certain country. And I'm gonna do the same here for Eastern Europe. So for the moment, I'm in Budapest for about six nights. And then after that, I plan on going to somewhere else in Hungary. Um, but I'll keep you updated as my videos come along. So today, it's obviously a really nice day. Blue skies and the sun's out. However, it is a bank holiday, which means that most shops, restaurants, museums, most tourist attractions are closed. So I'm just gonna walk around the city and try and get a good feel for it and take some shots and see what I can kind of conjure up in this video. I'll just to give you a quick taste of Budapest. Budapest is traditionally split on the Danube between Buda and Pest and I'm on the Pest side which is the east side of Budapest at the moment. Um, I'll be going to the Buda side in the next few days. I'm not going to go today. I'm heading up towards Andrasi Avenue, which is a long road, um, which is supposed to be quite impressive. Uh, and that's on the way to one of the biggest bath spas in Budapest. And next to this um, bath spa, there's quite a big garden and also a castle. So I'm going to go check it out. So I'm on Andrasi Avenue now, opposite the House of Terror. To be honest, I'm not sure if it's a particularly interesting road. I don't think there's much going on. Whether that's because it's a bank holiday or not, I don't know. I forgot to say the House of Terror Museum is something to do with um, the communist oppression in Hungary um, or the secret police, something like that. Uh, go check it out for yourselves. I might go check it out later this week. It's nice, it's becoming a bit more elaborate the further down this road I walk. There's a lot of Hungarian heritage on show. So many people taking pictures here. Once you've walked down Andrasi Avenue and you've got to Hero Square, you can cross the bridge over there and then you'll get into this area here which is the city park and then from the city park you'll be able to get to both the castle and the Roman spa. Yeah like highly recommend this for a day like today. This castle looks absolutely insane. I'm going to attempt to say its name, Vajja. Hunyad, I think. I'll put the name below. And it looks like there's a festival or some kind of event going on as well. Um, there's loads of stalls set up inside, so let's go check it out. I've left the city park, I'm walking back down Andrasi Avenue, the same road I was walking up earlier. For sure, go and check out the city park. There is quite a lot to see. It's good for a relaxing day. 
um, and also there's the spa to go to if you want to have a go at that it is a, roughly about 20 pounds I think um, and I might do it later this week um, and that's one of the best things to do in Budapest too. As you've probably noticed I've picked up a Hungarian hat it cost me 1,500 foreign which I think is a pretty good deal because I really liked it. So just heading back to my hostel now for a bit of a break. Um, I'll show you a few shots of the hostel um, as I talk now. It's very spacious, especially my room. I'm sharing with three other people at the moment, but there's four other beds, including mine. So it's five bed mixed dorm. Uh, and I'll go into a bit more detail about my hostel in uh, a future video I'm going to make about how expensive Budapest is. Um, and you'll get a better idea of the breakdown in that. It's a video I'm making because I'm here on a budget and I know a lot of people, especially young travellers, um, are on budgets too. And I think it will be useful to show people how I go about my day, spending as little as possible, but also getting as many experiences and doing as many things as I can as well. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in seeing the breakdown of expenses. had some dinner, I went back to my hostel and chilled for a bit. I'm now on the Pest side of the river. This is the Danube River here. This is Pest. This side's Buda. I'll be going to this side, the uh, south and the north, in the next few days. Um, and I think tomorrow I'll be going to the building which is further up here. There's so much more to see in Budapest. I've not really scratched the surface but I wanted to just quickly come to the Danube and check it out on my first day and it's a great way to finish the day much more coming from Budapest see you on the next one